Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Tron Warlord Liu Bei Let's Play. We continue here for episode 11 from turn 82 in the autumn season of 206. So right now, obviously, it's our War Wiz household, and it's heating up here at Quay Path. We have one, two, three, four, five, six armies. Uh, we couldn't ambush because he was uh, next to us. Neutral army, can't ambush on top of them. And now we're under siege. There is a couple ways we can take care of this. We can night battle and take care of one army first, at least pull us out of the siege. And then afterwards, hmm. Hold on, first figure out what should I give him. I mean, they already have zeal, which is the most useful one. First, no bonus of speed. Feels like a weird ability to give. All right, we'll take this. A little bit of extra morale. Uh, we can night battle the first army that's sieging us, which I think is this one right here in the back. Zhong Xuan's army. Cavalry unit. Some infantry, a few range. It seems like Cao Cao's faction doesn't recruit a lot of range unit. That seems to be a trend. Some Qingzhou infantry, do they get the similar ability? They get a Frenzy. They do have Misplaced Devotion, which gives them temporarily Unbreakable. That is rough. That is a pretty powerful thing. There's not a lot of Unbreakable in the game, and they clearly have one. So we can kind of resolve that that way, and then look to see if we can maybe peace out with Cao Cao's faction, at least temporarily, so that we get a breather. We still have a lot of eternal issues that we can solve, or we have to solve, uh, including a Nunmun situation down south. Don't Nas faction has sort of revived, and is now a slight problem. Ooh, good weapon. We might pay him just for the weapon. Right, so yeah, we have this war, which we're going to just send our army over. They're probably going to take one more piece of our land, and then we're just going to kind of chase after them. They also declare war on us, so we lost a trade partner. We can take a couple more free territories while we're at it. And then maybe peace out with Cao Cao's faction. We did hold a Tribi, so that's a you know, pretty good win for us. I right, want our version. Uh, This could be good if we get... If we really want to focus Hong Wu as a peasantry income powerhouse, this actually makes sense. And yeah, they're also selling food. Oh, it seems like all versions of this. Oh, this version is not selling food. Yeah, we might get something like this, a little bit of commerce on top. The build here is going to be a little bit weird. It might be better if we just produce food. Hmm. Doesn't need to be a large regional. I think we go down to a regional here. We need corruption reduction, I think. Yeah, 41%. We could throw in another... Uh, possibly a champion, actually. More food production, more percentage of... Something like this. 30% peasantry income. We could also potentially move Guan Yu down. And then open up a slot to move um, what's the way. Because he's not very happy as an administrator, and we don't really need Ba to have an administrator. Oh, he wasn't a Ba, he was a Jiang Yang. We do need one here. I think Liu Te will work perfectly here as well. There we go. And we'll worry about the rest later. Can we take another piece of land before we... Not quite. Um... How should we approach this? We should move this force towards here. I 
they can beat this army up so they don't go back to their own territory. I know we mentioned about the army count situation, but now I'm thinking about just wiping as many as we can so we can get a favorable peace deal potentially. Uh, money is useful. Can we chase? Okay, I see another army coming. Alright, what is the current peace deal? Negative 12. Okay, we beat up one more army at the Quay Path. Then we'll see what happens. We also need to peace out with them, so let's wipe them out first. Eric is okay. Minus 30. Well, he's out of land. So I don't really see what he can really do to us. We basically have to wipe out this army. I'll sit tight. You should need just we could buy it. Then buy this later. It would be expensive. It's probably easier to just take it. And then they have to take care of this army too. Okay, so all of that is taken care of. They're moving down here. Tothal's two fight. This one's a little bit rough, but we can probably retreat from there. Right, we night battled this, and somehow we're still suffering crushing defeat. I don't understand how. Like, it's two strategists, plus a pretty medium level sentinel. A lot of cavalry, but we have spear units. Open field fight. Yeah, her armor is confusing the mods, and there's a conflict of portrait where the face is mod generated. But then once you switch armors, the default face change, so the the hair is part of the armor, so it's overlapping with the original mod art, and it's looking really wacky, but the armor bonus, we, we need the armor bonus. Alright, so we just need to back off a bit. start some fires first. Oh. 
Hit and run, hit and run. I think we will go fight the duel. We have better weapons. We'll go help. It seems like our crossbow took care of most of the issues with the enemy cavalry numbers. We'll back them up, switch them on. Are we back on our horse? Yes, get out of here. Chen
All right, we don't really have any actives to use over here. Easy win. Slightly unbreakable for next 10 seconds. Technically, we're interested in killing every single one. We probably don't want friendly fire on our cavalry. I don't think Cao is going to give us a favorable peace deal just after this fight, but we'll see. Maybe we can pick on another army with night battle. But it wouldn't be a siege. We don't get the garrison force because only when we're siege do we get that one. But yeah, we're, we're highly incentivized to try to kill everything. might have to pay a bit if we really want a peace deal with Tal Tal, which we we might want. Alright, it's good enough. Jung Crut. I think we take replenishment. It's too late to ambush. They're all in front of us. We give the army a little bit extra replenishment. He is administrator Badon. Peasantry is okay. Industry is okay too. All right, who has siege weapons? They don't. They don't. Yeah, apparently it's also's army just likes. No, they have one, but they they got beat. So if they don't lead the attack, then they can't really instantly attack us, and we have time basically. Shia! What is the deal right now? 12.2 went up. I mean, our units got damage as well, so it kind of makes sense. They can hop in. We can retreat. All right, when they hit us, we retreat, and they shouldn't be able to reach us at that point. And Guan Yu can obviously come over and help. We could even counterattack here if we really wanted to. Alright, we're gonna march. We can at least take these land first. 
Well, Yan takes care of these two. They take care of here. Guan Yu cuts here. We cut up. And then we can help defend the borders here. Liu Bei. Okay. I don't think we need to stay behind and... Uh, yeah, we need to guarantee that we can hit them. Alright, we're going to gamble at the Kuei Path and see if we can hold a little bit longer without additional help. They're still so far away from Badong, but they just don't have enough armies with siege weapons yet. Only Zhou Tai's force would have it. They would have to lead. They don't look like they're in a good shape to lead. So we'll see what happens. Let's see how long we can fend this off. Probably not going to have much spying action going forward. They like us, which is good. You know what? I don't really need money from you. It'd be nice if we can get five points here. Oh, he's willing. Straight up unification. I think we take it. We open up another front against them. All their armies are over here. If we can sneak behind. Hmm. I mean, he's a willing... Okay, he doesn't have much. He has Dayan, a little bit of... Jindu. Wait, 78? I feel like... Let's do no, not, not enough. We can't confederate Yan Baihu because he's not a Han faction. He's a bandit subculture. Long Long has a lot of land too. See, this we can we can push through. We might as well actually. Yeah, we might as well, and then see if we can secure some sort of deal with him. It's going to be hard. He has full trade. Alright, we're going to quickly grab Valon here. Let's see if it's like 2,000 good enough for 15 points. 1,500. Uh, okay, around 1,500. And does he have cash on hand? We could use some cash. Only 2k. Okay, so we're just going to dump this. Nice. Right, we're not trading with him anyway, so there's no incentive there. We'll just first build this up. Make it a nice big number. Right, if he was trading with us, then maybe we don't need to do this, but since he's not giving us trade income... We're going to get his cash too. I think I can get everything on one go. Yep. Shift nice. value up. It's up to 46. Does he have items? Ooh, that's helpful. Ninety-five. That's probably enough. Does he have any other things? Oh. Go through one deal. Not at 150 yet, but we don't need him to be 150. He's more than happy at minus 60 opinion. We'll grab him as well. The armies that come with them might give us a little bit more bargaining chip, which also actually no, it dropped us. But we can use them to steal land. Okay, you look decent enough. Any confederation unhappiness? No? Good. What about you guys? Nope, no gripes with us. Oh. Be fun. Okay, we'll just let them keep their army because we're stealing undefended land anyways. This is... This is a general. Okay. Away, Fung. 
He led a coup against Hol's Hall in Ye. Okay, so pretty terrible army, but same thing. I think if we can get a delegate win against Tal Tal's land, we might as well just do it. He actually, oh, he actually has quite a few generals with armies. Uh, not interested in Javelin. This loyal, I don't like you already. Okay, no one picked up any bad confederation grudge. I don't like the fact that he's disloyal. I think I'm going to fire him. We could give them a strategist, for example. I don't think we're invading Cao Cao from this area just yet. They grab this, they grab this. One of them can stay put. Colonizing the remaining territories. This is the only one we kind of want. But not urgent. And by who is kind of a problem. I mean, I feel like if we don't attack an Emperor seat, that'd just be wrong. I think we should just go for it. This army is pretty terrible. We can maybe do some raids first. I assume their Emperor seat would be defended. Could we land? All right, gives us all something to think about. I think this helps. Let's see, corruption reduction, don't need that, don't need that. Let's go with spice. We're out of uh, administrators, so this is just what it is. Why peasantry? This is clearly commerce. And they don't have the corruption reduction one. Let's not do that. Let's do this instead. Not much to see here. We get to recruit interesting units. Let's not sell food. We'll build our own version later. Yeah, see, this should be commerce. This should be peasantry, not commerce. Eh, don't really want to build up new things. What else did we get? That's pretty much it. We didn't get that many territories. Walla had like three or four counties. And they technically had one plus one. One commander plus one piece of land. Let's us a 56. Okay. Just adds another dimension to our attack against Hull's Hall, who seems to be very focused on the quiet path. Alright, let's see what they do. A 25k. Now pumping out another army would also work, but I think we kind of need to take care of our economy. The 
problem here is the satisfaction. I mean, Guan Yu is nearby. We could kind of force it. Nothing wrong with the build. It just, it is what it is. Just the high population has problems. And we only have three prime minister, leader, and heir positions. I don't know if we can drop this or something like this. Right, they both have something like this. We don't have the right armor. Is anyone satisfaction low? Maybe we could drop the concubine. 55 is the lowest on the bench and 58. Okay, we're going to drop it. We're going to drop it. Uh, do we have any more plus two? Our previous wife or our current wife stole that item and uh, ran off with it. This is on cooldown. We do have one then. Just... Hmm. A book. Okay, we could drop 5% income. Which sounds kind of bad, but if you think about it, our other solutions, either we let it spawn Rebellion, or we drop our tax, which is 10%. So losing 5% for 10%. Not the worst idea. Yeah, this is under attack. That's not under attack. We should be okay here. Don't really care about that. It's like we don't really care about this. All right, 4k left. I think that's fine. We can't do much with this. Diplomatically, I think Hanf will be an easy confederate down the line if we need it. We're, we're poking around to see if we can take Shultrin. If we can, obviously, big boom for us. We get Imperial units that we can recruit. First, we have to hold the Quay Path. And the who please don't declare war on us. Just because we surround you on both sides doesn't mean we're, we're enemy. Yeah, send one army to siege, but like we can night battle it away. That's the goal. We're not healing because they are constantly sieging us. But the goal is to wear down Tall Tall elsewhere to the point where we might get a peace deal. Ideally, after we take everything in the south, and then we can kind of just really structure our offense north, and that would make things a lot easier if we can get to that point. 
If they're smart, they push the army with the trebuchet up, and then it's four armies versus our garrison. And that would be something. And while we wait for Talcal's long, long turn, I mean, we can talk about the Quay Path. Uh, historically, it was a real structure. It's still, I mean, it's still there. It's just underwater because of the construction of the Three Gorges Dam on the Yangtze River. Uh, pretty much everything upstream, water level increased because of the dam construction. So this entire area is sunken below. They crossed to attack Badong, but they're so weak they can't beat it. Yay! For once, delegate value is favorable. Uh, we take money. And Kuei, as the word itself, is a mythical creature. Uh, first recorded way beyond even the Zhou Dynasty. Uh, it's supposedly this one-legged, kind of polyamorous, multiple animal feature creature. Um, supposedly was the Divine's court musician. It makes sound. And later on, uh, during, I guess, the Sa Dynasty, the story is Quay was slaughtered. I mean, there's multiple. Well, it's not like a unique creature. It's a type of creature. And, ooh, do we defend here? Ah, let's not loop. And what they essentially did is uh, Huang Di and the um, sort of mythical tribal chiefs during the Sa Dynasty killed these Quay and used their skin as leather for drums. Okay. I don't care about Duosu's faction. Thank you, Emperor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anyway, mythical creature hops on one leg, associated with music. Uh, a lot of the old bronzeware from the Zhou Dynasty, especially early Zhou Dynasty, have what they call Kui uh, Ven, or basically uh, texture or lines that's kind of related to Kui, and they decorate bronzeware with those lines. Hmm, what do we want here? Burn officer that we sent down here? He should be on the front. I guess he could get some training here first. He does need some experience, only rank 4. Yeah, help take care of this, and we'll send you to the front lines. But right here, looks like there's no peace with Cao Cao. He gave up his only siege weapon army to attack Ba Dong, and it failed. So obviously we are going to be okay. I think we should stay on our borders. It's winter. If we cross, we'll lose a lot more supplies, and we can reach anyways. So about two more turns here. They did not come over to us. Maybe Guan Yu scare them off. But now that's the case, I think we should encamp to make sure they can muster up. And Guan Yu can do a little historical attack. Ooh, they're coming down to meet us. They have divided their attack force. They only left two at Kui Path. That is very interesting. Maybe they are sensing multiple threats towards their capital. Hmm, Guan Yu Supply is going to tank if he lands this turn, but we kind of need to land this turn, don't we? We kind of need to land, like, right here. Yeah, this is good. We have a thrust into Jiangling, or Jiangxia, technically. I don't know what they're still wandering around about. Alright, they sent one broken force here. No good. We're gonna get Nobe's army to follow behind. Well, I have to say it's going well. We have worn down Cao Cao's initial thrust. Eight pass works. I mean, we lost all our holdings in the north. That that part is that's what happened, but that's fine. We can push her back. They have no more armies. That's all they have. Pretty easy defeat. Um, we could sandwich them. I have no interest in wiping them out. If they're willing to peace out with me and give me that land, 
then we can peace out right now. There we go. That works. That works for us. We will offer one food just to kind of lock the relationship for the next few turns. And they're poor. They only have a gate pass. That's fine. We don't need anything. Oh. I can offer up some stuff. Let's see. There's a lot of stuff that we don't use. For example, we are not going to care about them having anti-spying capacity. Any other faction, we kind of hesitate to trade that. We might need to pay them. They have food, apparently. I mean, yeah, they currently have food. Once they trade us, they're not going to have food. So maybe we wait. We do two separate deals, right? We do this deal where we get the land, and now they're food hungry in winter. Oh, but technically that doesn't spend any food either, so at least there'd be food neutral. And it should be worth at least more, 1.5 instead of 1.1. And we can get this 0.5 at least to 10 or 8. How do they have two food? Items? How much do we care about having the gold armor? It's a vanity item. I guess we're vain. It's not that expensive. Yeah, 3k. Alright, so aside from one little hiccup down here, where we have to keep fighting, let's do diplomacy. Our only war target, oh, also down here, but our only war target's pretty much Tall Tall's faction, and that's it. And we're making some good inroads on counterattacking. So I would say all is going well. They're here to just cause problems. I actually don't expect them to make any big material gains. No one's defending their capital. No one why everyone's fleeing back. They overcommitted. They overcommitted. It's not bad. No one has siege weapon here, so we're not actually very good into fighting that. She should lead this army. They have a movement order on them. They cannot encamp. Right, they're swarming us now, or they're trying to counter us. What we could do is play a little hide and go seek with their main force, force them to pull back, and just do damage across the border. Just to buy more time for all the armies back here to do their thing. We don't have a siege item. We'll have to siege a turn. They will rush over and help us next battle or next turn. Shouldn't be a problem. They are pulling. We're defending. Guan Yu's attacking. We will hit their next turn. We'll hit their next turn. We're going to reinforce this in about three or four. We night battle another group, basically. This army here. More cavalry, very little range. So basically, we're just dealing with a ton of cavalry units. Um, we pieced out with them. So, war with them is over. Oh, there's our wife. Let's go have a chat with her, huh? You like those items we gave you? And then what? anti spang item just to rub it in? We would like to buy this, actually. Could we buy it for corruption reduction? 23. Mm, maybe down the line. Like, not this turn. Maybe next turn. I say we send Obey to talk to her. 
you know, just just talk to her nicely. Are they at war with Cao Cao? If they are, maybe we let them off. Okay, all right, all right. We're just fighting together on different sides, I guess. So these three armies now can kind of rush over. One of them can clean up Yujang. Yeah, we'll lose some supplies. They will go reinforce this. We'll hopefully not go to war with any of them. The original plan was to come out of Shangyong, but now it seems like that path, unless we want to go back into a war with Zhang Lu. They are part of Duchy of Zhou who is fighting Cao Cao, so we should just let them do their thing, right? This coalition on our side. Let's just lock it in. Zero points, it's fine. Wait. Wait, we can confederate them. I, I don't need this though. Oh, we can't. Slightly off. I don't need their land though. We'll hit 95 counties without their land. And they don't offer any emperor seats, so... So that's no good. Everyone has mobilized. What are you guys doing? I have a fight there. Administrator. Yeah, why not? Do we have another Jade Carver for you? We don't. Oh, who is the administrator of Changsha? They gotta have an administrator, right? There you are, Shixie. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we take the Zhangke one. We snatch this from you, because there's more commerce in Zhangke anyways. And then we go to Shixie, and then we tell him to add for public order, please. And we're much better off for it. You can also add a little bit more commerce. Industry should be Jianning. And population growth we don't need anywhere. All right, 25K, we got one more fight. They're just gonna chase them. Plus 50 base commerce income? That's not bad. Uh, technically full build. Mm, we don't have the tier 5 buildings from reform yet, so not going to touch that. Could go either way. There's peasantry, there is commerce. I will just keep it. What we could do is actually convert this over and pick up industrialists, since there is no corruption here anyways. We now have it. Oh, do we have to pick up the, the reform for it to not be considered? I don't really want to grab that one, though. Yeah, seems to be the case. I thought it was just the industrialist that we were missing.
Yeah, this is a weird thing. Um... Also comes down to the fact that we don't have the reforms for things. Alright, 2k left over. Can't really do anything with military for that money. And we're kind of happy the state that we are. We're actually starting to counterattack. Let's make sure we fight this night battle. Another big cavalry force. Now the generals are stronger this time, and our generals are still pretty weak. He even have a weapon. But I think we just have a lot more units to take care of this fight. And then with the Exemplar plus Wisdom River, we should be able to kill any general. Mm, same idea, I think we just want to stretch them out, give ourselves a little bit more time for our units to get here. Harass with that. you had recovery to heal our guys would be so much better Maybe next time tower goes here. I believe in you. I believe in you. Let's see if we can beat one of them first. We'll pick on the weakest one. Should be able to bait a few of their cavalry units over. Really just trying to buy time right now. Ooh, they're boosting her now. Hmm, we'll see. Hopefully we win. If we don't, it's okay too. 
It'll be close either way. Yep, it'll be close. Oh, we won. Although, I think we are going down pretty soon after. A lot of things near us. Alright, if we don't want to leave. 1.2k, 14 morale. Let's just lock you into a duel instead of you routing off the battle like this. Taking one of the resiliencies and just having him die, he'll bounce back full health. Ooh. As long as we land the charge, we should win 3v1 on each side. Same story as last time. Yep. And it can heal our other generals. Not a bad trade. Stay, 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 stay. There we go. And then we wait for our next one to come and die. Counter charge that, counter charge that. Poor garrison unit. Kill the enemy cavalry, time to pull. Getting pulled back in. Should look to fight him off too. No problem. Getting dragged back in, though, is a problem. Let the archers take care of the routing units.
Looks like army loss is kicking in. Misplaced devotions, devotion for a couple of seconds. And route. There we go. Just gotta wait for the duel to finish. I feel like we are totally fine. I can move the army back even, have them encamp behind so they can at least replenish this turn because there's only one army facing us and that army doesn't have a siege weapon. Let the garrison kind of hold their siege, they replenish and then we attack back. <laughs> they, they retreated behind us. Um, that's, that's a little bit awkward, uh, but I think it's okay in the long run. What is what is your opinion on peace now? Still 11.5. Guan Yu is going to thrust up Jiangxia. We have an army over here, but I think we're just running distractions. We're probably going to actually have them run down this way. We might force a confederate here just to get them a path. We could also siege next turn. They'll be closer. So they'll be back in time. I don't know if we can hold it with just what they have. Might as well just go over here and then tack down here. Just be annoying. And then they will take that together. They will take this. They will take this. Yeah, it's also going to be bleeding land across the board. Shisi is almost here and Badon to help out. Liu Bei and them. Even if they flood over, we have three armies coming up behind. So I don't really have to worry about them. I can actually just stay in the path. Yes, we don't get to replenish, but... Like, would they siege us, or would they just keep going? That's a good question, actually. These two are pulling back because of what's happening over here. And then once they're done here, they can be the next way to defend this if they do land. So I think across the board, it's turning around. Cao Cao is now on the back foot, and uh, we have a pretty legit threat across his border. The Confederation and the additional armies helped us out, and also taking care of all the eternal little issues and finishing up the south will give us the breathing room we need to kind of continue and wipe out the rest and make a push into the Central Plains and finish off the Kingdom of Wei. So, hope you guys enjoyed it, and see you all next time. Bye!